Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Patrick's Parabox. This is one of the best puzzle games I have played in a long time. It's a recursive and mind-bending puzzle game where you possess a wall and then use that to reach the goal. No, that's not exactly the point of the game, um, but also you don't win if you do this. This definitely caught me by surprise. I was just gonna wing it, but anyway, this is really strange. I am the wall right now. I am a literal wall, and now I am back to myself. The goal is to reach your own goal and sometimes push boxes into this, their goals. And this game includes a lot of inception and recursion, but right now it involves wall morphing. So... What happens is if you can't push a wall, you just possess it instead, which is very interesting. So I'm going to go all the way to here, and then here, and then here, and now that's enough. The walls have opened? This is really weird. Wait, do I not win here? Oh, wait a second. What if there's a goal on this wall? Yep, there was a goal right there. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, very well. Let's just possess you here and now make it to my goal. Okay, so there's no white outline if there's a goal under the wall. Is there a goal under this wall? Okay, because there isn't, I feel like there should be a white outline. Maybe there was and I missed it, but either way, here's what needs to happen, right? I need to go here and then possess my old self somehow. So maybe it kind of looks like this. Or hold on, maybe it looks like this and then this there we go that's what i want to do so i can push this box here this is finally the first inceptive thing there's boxes that you can go inside and inside was my goal so the idea is you can push this around but if you can't push it around any further you enter it so you got to set it up in a way they'll enter it so here well these walls just mean i've got to set something up around here well, because I have two of these walls, why can't I just kind of get a chain going and allow a wall to eventually just be positioned here? And then I just possess me here? Oh, this wall's a little annoying. Hold on, there we go. This should work. Perfect. Get me in. So yeah, it's a constantly inventive game that just keeps throwing the book at me, and I absolutely love it. So I'm one of these walls. There's a box here, but if I try to possess this, I get stuck. So I've got to use this void block to help me out. I could either consume. I think I'm going to consume. That seems like the play. Consume, get myself over here. Oh, the void block is supposed to end here, and I'm supposed to end here. So void block can't um, do that so easily. Well, let me try something. Do a little bit of trading possession on these. And now I can enter the void block at least. And now, do I possess this? I do. And I get to push around this box and win. Nice. So, I beat enough levels to pass this world, but I'm going for perfection. What is the deal with this? Well, again, another wall possession. So, something's got to end here. Now, here's my grand idea. I'm going to use these to go here. Why? So then I can push myself into here and then possess here. So now I can push this box here and enter it. That's what the yellow block was for, just a little extra buffer. Here, well, I can become a lot of things. I can become a void block. I can become, well, I, ooh, I enter the thing I wanted to possess. That's not a good sign. So it's like I gotta push this in first, but then I still push this in. It's not as easy as you may think. I almost feel like the idea is this. I've got to go here, possess you, bring you over real quick. Oh no, this is not right. Here we go, possess you here, move you over here, enter here, go down here, possess, and then if I, I can't enter this, but I'm gonna possess the small block. That's a shame, I want to possess the large block. So possession just means I can't, or the block has to be in a spot where I can't push it, and can't enter it, and it can't enter me. So as long as these three conditions are met, I possess it. How do I do that with the red block? Oh, well that's where the yellow block will come in. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. I can push this in the corner here and also push the yellow block in. Alright, so what I wanted to do was actually push this yellow block here, and then have myself be here. 
I, I can possess here really quick then. What if I bring both of the blocks inside? Yeah, just inside really quick to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have that unpossessed block be there. Now I can go out, and if I try to enter, I will possess this, and now I can win. Sick. That was a tricky one. Not extremely tricky, but you know, it took a couple minutes. Let's see this. Well, I need to win with two blocks here, and then myself where the red block is now. So I imagine both these void blocks will go into their square holes. So what I need to think about is, how on earth can I possess the red block at all? Because if I just try to go here, push up against the wall, well, it's stuck now. I guess I do win like this, actually. Why can I not just push these all the way down? Oh, it's because I won't be able to enter the blue block. I push it into the green. Well, can't I do a whole turnaround? Oh, but then I push this up. You can't win. You have to... I'm going to have to use the other walls to my advantage here. I mean, I'll just leave this here for now. But I imagine very much both of these walls will have a purpose. Well, I think the idea is I just need... Oh, I see why there's two walls. I just need a wall inside the green and a wall inside the blue that are touching each other. So, it'll look something like this for one. And then... Let me get this out. Yeah, being right here makes more sense because I can possess here and now the blocks are set up as I please. I think this should work anyway. So now I should be able to enter. Nice. Push, possess, win. Very cool. Neat concept. Let's go, let's actually go to these red levels first. It looks like they're sooner on the path. First level with recursion. Finally, I can push around a block that's the level itself. I'm not saying the bat games with bad without it. It's just funny going without recursion for so long. Well, how does this change things? I don't know what I really want just yet. Well, the idea is that a green block is going to have to be here and that a recursive level will have to be here. But be careful, outside of here is the void. If I enter the void or if anything enters the void, I pretty much lose. It might be possible to win if something random is pushed into the void, but just might be possible. I mean, I want the wall to be here, but then I gotta figure out how to possess myself, and that doesn't even really use recursion. I feel that if I'm not using recursion, I'm not solving the level. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what my capabilities are. This wall mechanic feels the least, uh, or feels like the highest execution-based mechanic so far. Usually you come up with an idea and then you win, but here you, you need a little bit more execution than what you may be used to. I think it might be important to help. Well, hold on. What I could do is have a wall be over here. So now one thing I could do is possess you here. Doesn't quite work. Possess you here. How can I stop being possessed here? Is that possible? I don't think so. Oh, I see. Okay, it took me a little bit to think about, but I was not too far off in that I was meant to use this side to help me. But if I can go set myself up in between a level and a hard place, I can possess like this. I can possess one layer up and that will let me set up the box here and set up this box here and win. Yeah, it took me four or five minutes. This seems like a harder version of that because the goals are no longer against the wall. So let me possess first and see how I would want to do this. The box has to end either here or here. I mean, it's symmetrical, so it works the same. Well, if this is here, then can't I um possess red right here? Okay, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that wasn't so bad at all, because now I can just set this up here, push this outside of the level and win. Not too bad. I guess I pushed it one layer up. This one looks a lot more complicated. There's clones. Oh, wait, what the hell? I'm void adjacent. Oh, weird. Okay, so I can't exit the level itself, but if I enter a clone, I enter the level. And these are just mimics of the level. I can't really exit a clone. Well, anyway, first thing first, I gotta get boxes into the 
green blocks. Bad news is they can't be walls. Well, so what can they be? See, I, I see how I could put one green block in the other, but what goes inside this smaller green block? I don't think it can be a red block. Because this is the only thing I can do with red, right? Yeah, I don't really understand what I'm swallowing. I mean, sure, I could set up a stop right here so that if I push this in, it would swallow something. And I mean, I could have it swallow this. But now we have the problem of what do I do with the small th box? I mean, unless if I had it wrong and a wall counts as something that can uh, complete a goal, but no. Well, first off, it can't even swallow a wall. Well, I mean, it can swallow a wall. There is a way for it to be able to do so. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I guess this does count. Or maybe it can count? Yeah, I definitely expected the wall to stick out like a sore thumb. There's no weird mechanic where if um, I have one box enter another, that somehow possession lets me enter one? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. And also, this is not how you line this up at all. Yeah, there's nothing here. There, there's no way that I can do anything here. I mean, I can push that out. Because, I mean, they can't enter each other again. Once you're in the void, you can't come back. But maybe can you possess through the void? Is my next question. If I have this here, I exit. Can I possess? What if uh, possession is right where you would enter? No, there's no possession through the void. I think the only thing of note that I've discovered is that you can possess into a clone. And possess like that. What if just sending a block to a void means that you don't have to care about its wind condition anymore? No, you still have to care. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, something new! The clone is inside the green block. Oh! Oh my god, well that's just the way to win. Wow, okay, discovered something new, beat the level. Love to see it, now they both win. <laughs> Now I can win. That was a very tough one. I kept thinking that green blocks that go inside green blocks. I kept forgetting clones were a block. Probably shouldn't have held me up for so long. That was what, 20 minutes? Yeah, that was who the longest I think I spent on a level that didn't involve a cup. Well, <laughs> let's go to this. What is this thing? Oh, hold on. Oh, I see. So I'm just an edge block, and now it's a recursive level. Okay, very funny. So now I can become this again, and it's recursive. Did I want to do that yet? I don't know. If I... Okay, first thing I need to just get this off the wall. That's important. So the idea is that this needs to be set up here, and this needs to not enter. So I've got to create a barrier again. I see. I see. There, there's a reason why this block exists. The reason is so I can set up this formation right here and go push and then transfer to here. And now I'm in control myself and the wall is reinstated. So now I can enter here. Yeah, this was a lot easier than the previous level. The red level was easier th for me than the non-red level. Well, we got some clones here, so that does trip me up. The bottom one is the real level. There is a transfer and this top one is a clone. You cannot exit a clone, but a clone can exit a level itself, but a level itself cannot exit like that. A paradox is created. Uh, here's what I need to do. I need to put a wall above the clone so I can get the real level into the clone. Like this. So now the real level's at an acceptable place. So now, I think if this goes here, and if I get this wall away, I can push the clone out and it should win. But now I need to just get myself here and now I win. Yeah, the red levels were easier than this. That's crazy to me. I guess it just goes to show people are gonna struggle on different things. I am a hashtag. So I'm a wall. Okay, text-based level, I'm a wall. These two is a deep level and there's a wall here. I can exit that, and three is just a different... Wait, what? 
Is this possessable? Oh, you can possess three. You can enter three and you can possess three. So I am three now and I am the wall. So if I approach two from this direction, I can possess it. No? I can possess it now. There we go. I understand. So I have to get a box in the middle of one and I have to end up in the middle of three. So if I possess two and then this would... Oh yeah, this lets me possess the box. Okay, good. So then possess two possess and then too bad this enters no wait it does work does this not win oh i need to be something i need to be a box right i can't win as a wall okay I back this up then back this up something kind of dumb i guess i can possess no i can't possess like that damn it i can possess three like this does this do anything for me? I don't think it does. Then I can possess two. Oh, that does work. There we go. Now I can enter three. Jeez. All right. I, I did have the idea. I was doubting myself a lot during that. I'm like, do I really have the right idea or was it the execution I was missing? It was the execution. Those are always the hardest puzzles. When it's the execution I'm missing, not the idea. So another tricky one back to back. Whole thing took 57 minutes. Next one's called Infinite Exit, so I imagine this is going to even be more mind-blowing. I probably need some brain food before I take this on, so get hyped. I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and peace.